about this thing is that the uh, size of this whole image is 500. That's the size. So basically, when you run in your, in your environments, you can just you know forget about uh, the whole using the whole Ubuntu or the whole Debian images that are much uh, larger in the size. But you can use these images instead. Uh, they will just work for a Docker, but they will work wonderfully as compared to the Ubuntu and others. What is the difference between normal image and this Docker image? Uh, normal image? Like, like you are saying about... Like normal operating system and Docker image? No, uh, so Docker image is created with the application that you have specified. Just for example, when I ran the Docker images in this part, I got various applications of images like Alpine, let's say. So the only requirement that are mentioned by the Alpine uh, distributors that are in that repository. Uh, take another example, uh, let's say Nix. Okay, I, I pulled down an image of Nix. So it only contains the parts that are uh, put down by the uh, Docker file, in the Docker file by the uh, distributor or the contributors. If I download a normal Ubuntu image, okay. and if I want to launch it on Ubuntu, hmm. so what are the customization I need to do? Uh, you want, first my, my question is like you want to do it on your local machine or you want to pull it from somewhere? I want to do it my local machine. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, so I am going to uh, cover that part. So, so right. it, but the normal image, normal any any image, ISO image or any uh, disk image or Kupa image, uh, so there must be a difference between Docker images. Right? Yeah, there is. Uh, actually, you use Docker file for composing those images. I'll show you a small demo in which I've created a Docker file. Mm. Uh, so that you know when it runs the only components that are present are what I specified in the docker file not anything else ok so I will just show you so these are just uh, some of the commands basically you can uh, restart your daemon and stop it and there are a lot of commands a lot of commands uh, for monitoring for any sort of purpose that you require okay. Yeah, these are some of the flags. Okay, so one mode that is really important is the hyphen D mode. So what happens is like when I uh, ran a container, suppose I ran for uh, starting, I ran a hello hyphen world uh, container. Okay, so I saw it automatically exited without any uh, contempt that I made. Okay, it automatically does the exit. It does not stay in for a long time. In production environment or in real time scenario, you can't have this thing, right? You want things to be uh, to be the way as you want it to be, right? You want it to be running, so you, it means you have to be running. So this flag will help you in that case. It will take your application to the background, and it will uh, you know make it up. It will. It won't give it a downtime. There are also you know uh, other flags like hyphen hyphen restart flag that you can use uh, to basically restart the container if in the case that the Docker, Docker container fails. Okay, so you can use that part here. You can use Docker logs command. You can use Docker talk command for the monitoring part in case you want to know like what happened to my container that it booted it up. We have Docker history command uh, using which you just uh, write Docker history and your image ID, your container ID, and the whole logs. Uh, so now is the Docker file. So basically, Docker is. Uh, as a script basically, it is a script using which you can boot up your or build up your own images. We have certain commands like build, boot, uh, and run. Uh, these I will show you. This is my Docker file using which I can, you know, this is just an example where I have used to launch Ubuntu. Okay, it is a pass. So I have basically tried to bring up a container in which you can deploy your apps using Ubuntu. 
So that will, that was my aim. So as you could see, I started from above. That is the from part. I could use any sort of operating system that I want. Like uh, before that, I used Ubuntu 16.0. Uh, I have commented it, but I can use the Debian Jesse. So it depends. Like what is the requirements that you have for your container? It depends on that. Right. So like uh, there is also an interesting thing to know. If I just remove this uh, Docker slash part, then what happens is that it will automatically fetch the latest repository that is being built by the uh, Ubuntu community on the uh, Docker Hub uh, registry. So that's the part. So if you want to specify a version, you can go ahead and do this like 12.04. Uh, you can do this. Here is a maintainer of who is maintaining the image, who has built the image. Uh, then you have some certain commands like run. Okay, so I've used run basically uh, in all of this uh, setup. I have used the apt hyphen get update and uh, CA certificates. Then I have installed the Heroku tool by uh, cloning the repository. So I've used this particular uh, run command for all of this. Code. But I can also use uh, CMD command. So, but there is a difference. See? CMD command, what it does, when you build up a container, then it runs the command onto that container. When you uh, use the run command, while building it, it automatically uh, puts the command onto it. Okay. So I will have a layer of my images that is from one layer, two layer, three layer, like this. This is the workflow uh, which I am uh, doing. Right. So you have all uh, a variety of commands. You have copy, add command. Add command is used for the uh, fetching purpose. Suppose I have a zip file on my uh, GitHub repository. I could uh, use the github.com and slash .com zip. What Docker gives me the benefit of using add is that it will automatically unzip or untar the file and uh, you know uh, put it in the required location which I have uh, mentioned. It will automatically do it. You don't have to install the zip command first and then you have to go through all the trouble. But what the difference between copy command is you cannot uh, do this thing. There is a very slight difference between these two commands. Basically you cannot fetch a URL using the copy. You just copy your local directory onto your uh, image using the copy. This is the slight difference. The same thing can be done with the add command. The same thing. But there is just this difference. For the volume, you it creates a mount point basically, like I, uh, I have written, like uh, opt hyphen slash object. So you can just go through it. So this environment, uh, environment is very important when you are creating languages. Suppose I want the Heroku to be uh, dealt with while installing my Ruby. So I specify an environment of Ruby that okay, my RBM path is this. Now you do the installations. Uh, this sort of problem occurs when you are uh, dealing with Go, Ruby and many other languages. So it all uh, basically clears out with this. So help me help me understand one, one point here that you know, uh, for my understanding, you know, so these are the individual set of commands that we can run and we can uh, do the job. Say for example, Docker run. So it basically uh, pull out the images from the hub and uh, do the need to, basically to your local system. Uh, so. This uh, Docker file is nothing but a set of script that, that yeah, we have been using, right? Script, yeah. Right? Yeah. That you know, instead of running those commands individually, you have created a set of file yeah. with a fixed name which is called as Docker file and you yeah. run it at yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, it's a simple script. Right? There's nothing else but builds a image. But, but what's the difference between the commands? So that, that is fine as far as the Docker file is con concerned. So, for example, if I'm saying th uh, that run git, right? So, what it does that it, it it checks the local system whether the grid images is there in the local system or not. If not, then it pulls out, uh, put it up from the hub. What happened from the from command? So the so from also this, says that okay, yeah. Yeah. So just imagine a scenario. Uh, I have not Ubuntu operating system on my local machine. Mm -hmm. I have Core OS. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. obviously Core has some limitations also because mm -hmm. just say it has system D using D minute. Okay, that's a by default D minute. Mm -hmm. So I want to use something else. I want to, you know, just uh, use something that is better. And to be like quite 